what's up everyone hope you're all doing well and good on this Sunday afternoon Sunday evening um, it's been a long time and I've been meaning to do this for ages but I'm finally back with another food fight episode um, somebody asked me a long long time ago probably a couple of months ago now um, to, do, to do an episode based on like snacks and that kind of stuff so here it is um, <clears throat> originally I was going to do a comparison between the um, the Hi-Fi salted caramel bar and the Alpen Light salted caramel bar because they're both healthy, it should be all three sins each. However, the last, well, it must be three or four times that I've been to weigh in at Slimming World, they haven't had any uh, of the caramel, salted caramel ones, so I haven't been able to buy those. So I've got loads of Alpen bars, but no salted caramel um, Hi-Fi bar. So that one will happen at some point, um, but I, every time I've tried over the last month or so, no, and I've, I've weighed in, I think, at three different groups in the last kind of five, six weeks, and none of them have had salted caramel bars. Um, so I'm a bit stuck on that one. So what I thought I'd do instead is, um, <clears throat> as the title of this video suggests, I'm going to do a five sin uh, snack episode. So I'm going to compare three different snacks, um, or, or sweet treats, I suppose you'd call them, because they're not really, they're more treats than, than snacks. Um, but they're all five sins, okay? So I'm gonna go through three different versions. Um, not a three different versions, but three different options for five sin uh, treats. So these are the kind of things that for me, I have at night. Um, so after I've had my main meal, I might sit down and have that and a yogurt or something like that. So I've got five sins in the treat and then uh, the yogurt is free. So without further ado, I will talk through each of them individually and go through um, where you can get them from and stuff. And the categories, I've reduced it to four categories. I think, I'd like, I, think I had five categories last time. I've reduced it to four this time. So we've got the size, because um, I always think if you're spending five sins on something, it needs to be worth it. So the size, the taste, the cost, and then obviously the sins. The sins is a fairly easy one in that they're all gonna be five sins, but I thought I'd include that there anyway. So size, taste, cost, sins. Those are your five uh, categories for this week. Uh, so the first one that we're gonna go for is the, um, the one that everybody kind of knows. Uh, that, that people have used for, for I say used, people have had for a while and it, it's kind of cropped up on the, the Facebook group I'm in and Instagram and all that kind of stuff and it's the, the Fibre One bar. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember who does Fibre One. Is it Kellogg's? Is it Kellogg's Fibre One? I can't remember. Either way, the Fibre One bars are big, big, big um, kind of favourites and they are five sins um, as far as I'm aware. They could actually be four sins. So if that is the case, then... Um, bonus you've, you've lost a sin so that's good um <clears throat> so as before you'll see all the all the kind of videos up here so i went i thought i'd show you the packaging i'd show you the, the the treat itself and then i'd show you the the inside as well so in terms of the size it's a decent size uh it's like a little cake bar kind of thing i would to, uh, kind of describe it as that and what you'll notice is these are all caramel themed so you can get different flavors there's a lemon drizzle there's a cinnamon drizzle and there's just a plain chocolate one. I like salted caramel stuff, so I'll, I went for this one. The size is okay. It's, um, it, I will put a comparison up uh, at the end of these so you can see how big they are next to each other. It's a little bit small, I think, for four sins, five sins, but I, I do, I think it's it's well worth it. It's, a, it's kind of thick enough, it's dense enough that you actually do get uh, a lot for the size of it. In terms of the taste, it tastes like a little cake. You can't, it's like a little salted caramel flavor brownie slash cake it's quite dense it is quite thick so it's not like a sponge cake but it is very very nice it's not quite the consistency of like a jamaican ginger cake kind of thing but along those lines it's that kind of thickness almost like um saurine the the malt loaf again not quite as thick as that uh, but it's definitely got that kind of thick cakey texture to it which is i think they're i think they're really nice um and and if you dip it into a yogurt which might be a bit weird but i do sometimes it's great this is where it falls down at the cost these are quite expensive Con comparatively to these. They're about £2.90 a box for five. You get five of them in a box, they're about £2.90. You can get them in all the major supermarkets. I tend to find them in Asda or Tesco. Asda will generally have sales on every now and then, so you might get them cheaper. But full price for me, for five sins, that's where it falls down. And then obviously for sins, I think it's five sins. I will double check that because I think they're 90 sins a, a cake bar thing. So it could be four sins, I'll double check that. And if it is four sins, then I obviously haven't done my research well enough and you've gained a, you've, or you've lost a sin so you've gained um, a bonus there. So if it is four sins, even better. If not, I still think it's worth five sins. Um, so there, I would give all of them, bar the cost, a thumbs up. So the cost is the only one that gets a, a cross. Uh, and not that it's extortionate, it's just compared to the other available options, they are a little bit expensive. 
Um, so that's that's fiber ones. Next, we've got the the Wacko bars, which are um, the Aldi kind of um, biscuit and caramel bars. Not quite a Twix because the caramel isn't the top layer; it's kind of in a little trench at the top. It's more like a, a Rocky. Is it McVitie's that do the Rocky, the kind of um, Rocky bars? That's what a Wacko bar is like. These are 89p for um, eight, so they, they come in like a long pack uh, in the biscuit section at Aldi. <clears throat> I'll put this out there, I absolutely love these. They are like a Rocky bar, they're just biscuit with a little caramel layer on the top and then chocolate wrapped around the outside. I love them, I really do. Um, however, the first category of the size, they are the smallest of the three that we are comparing today. And size versus sins ratio, for me, five sins is quite a lot for what they are. I, I kind of, I have one and I think, oh, I kind of need another one as well. So two is ideal, but two is also 10 sins. So in terms of the size, they're a little bit small for me. In terms of the taste, they're great. I think in terms of the taste, I prefer these out of the three. They're, they're just a, a biscuit bar with caramel covered in chocolate. I wouldn't say that because it's Aldi, it's any less quality. I don't think it's kind of, um, as when I was at school and you had the Lunchables and it used to come with that day, the, the German chocolate, it used to have like a square of chocolate as the dessert and it used to be a German chocolate like Milka or something like that. And it always tasted a little bit rubbish. Uh, this doesn't, this tastes brilliant. It tastes just like good quality chocolate. It's good quality caramel with a nice strong biscuit. So I keep them in the fridge, um, which makes them, because I seem to do things like that with chocolate. I like chocolate in the fridge, which makes them harder. So they'll, in the video um, above, you'll see that as I break it open, it, it's, it's room temperature. So the caramel's kind of softened. I like it in the fridge, so it's a bit more of a, a lasting effect, but the taste is great. I absolutely love them. Cost's brilliant. They cost like 89p in Aldi for a pack of eight. We can't go wrong with that. No more to say. Uh, and the sins, the sins, they're just too much. For five sins, they're just they're just too much. Um, if they were double the size for five sins, great. And in a perfect world, brilliant. But we don't live in a perfect world. Um, so for me, I do like them. But if I thought, oh, I'm really, really, really desperate for a treat, I wouldn't go for them because I'd kind of eat, you eat one and you feel a little bit, not cheated, but you kind of think I'd need another one of those, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it, it gets three ticks in terms of size, taste and cost and then it gets 1x in terms of sins. So <clears throat> that's that's the Wacko bar, it's so so close to being perfect. And finally we have the uh, the Skinny Whip Toffee and Chocolate Snack Bar, so not quite, not quite caramel but toffee caramel, it's close enough for me. Um, I won't spoil anything but these are brilliant, I really like these. Uh, in terms of the size they're the biggest of the three that, I'm, that are being reviewed here today. And they are they're decent enough as well. They're a really really good size. It's a like a nougat and then with with toffee covered in chocolate. So it really does last a long time. I mean it's big enough anyway. The bar itself is quite sizable, and um, because it's nougat, it does take you a long time, well, not a long time, but a longer time to eat it because you've got to chew through the nougat and stuff. So it really does feel like you're getting something long lasting and, and substantial. The um, the fiber one stuff and the wacko bars can sometimes feel a, like a, a little bit of a uh, it's kind of gone like that, so the Skinny Whip Bar is really, really good for that. The taste, it's nougat, chocolate and toffee. I'm trying to think what it might, kind of like the old nougat bars I used to get. I used to get them in the co-op um, when I was like a young teenager and it would be the half was white and half was pink. Um, that kind of chewy nougat kind of stuff, but then anything that's a nougat base, uh, but it's just toffee and chocolate. And again, the, the quality of the chocolate is good, the quality of the, of the toffee is good, the nougat itself is really, really good. So it tastes brilliant. For me, this one, although I I really do like the taste of the Wacko bar, I think the taste of this one combined with all the other categories just, just wins out. Cost a pound in B&M. Um, you might be able to get them elsewhere, but I haven't found them anywhere other than B&M at the moment. So they might, they might appear in other places at some point, but they're a pound for a box of five. Um, so less, less price than the, um, than the fiber ones for the same amount of bars. You don't get as many bars as the Wacko pack, but the Wacko pack is a smaller bar in itself, so it's probably about the same, but they're a quid. And there's three different flavors. There's the toffee and chocolate snack bar, there's a strawberry and chocolate snack bar, and then there's just a double chocolate snack bar. Uh, with the Wacko ones, there's the caramel ones that I've reviewed, and then there's just plain chocolate there as well. So there are various versions of each of these. I'm not sure if they're all the same sins though, so you might want to double check that. 
I'm 90% certain that all the skinny bars, skinny whip bars are all the same because they're 99 calories for all of them. The same with the um, <clears throat> fiber ones. I think they're all the same calories. I don't see why the wacko bars would be any different. Um, so yeah, cost is great, taste is great, size is great. Sins, they're five sins because they're 99 calories, which is fine. For this, I think, I think the skinny whip are the first ones, are the only ones on this list where I would actually say the sins are worth what you get. Um, so in that regard, the Skinny Whip, it's a tick in all four categories, so it's the only one that's got a four. So for me, the Skinny Whip is the clear winner. Um, I do like the taste of the Wacko Bars just a little bit more, but everything about that is kind of, it's just cut, undercut by the fact that it's five sins, whereas you can have a Skinny Whip Bar for five sins and it's twice the size and it lasts twice as long, that kind of thing. So I think, for me, the Wacko Bar it is, it is a nicer, kind of snack for me because it's got that kind of river of caramel f flowing through it but overall in terms of you the whole package the size of it the taste of it the cost of it and the sins of it the skinny whip um bars run a, a clear a clear winner i like the high five uh, no sorry i like the fiber one bars but the fact that they cost so much and the fact that they are they're not that big they're nice and they're, they're a, they are a decent amount but they aren't that big compared to like the skinny whips the skinny whips just seem to last twice as long as anything else uh, and just for kind of comparison's sake, I've just taken a video here. These are all of the um, snacks uh, compared to each other. I should have taken them out of the packaging, really, um, but I didn't. So this is this is how they look. The Hi-Fi, I keep calling it a Hi-Fi. The Fiber One Bar is a bit deceptive because there's probably only two thirds of that package that is actually taken up by, by the snack. So the package looks like it's the same as the Skinny Whip, but it isn't. Whereas the Skinny Whip is, is chock full in there, it's the whole bar. So don't get too um, kind of fooled by the uh, by the fiber fiber one bar. Uh, so that's it for me. The clear winner is the Skinny Whip, just because it's a slightly bigger snack and because it's got the new gar in it, it's a slightly uh, more substantial snack. And for five of them, it only costs a quid. And B and M's are everywhere, and they always have loads and loads of stock. Um, so it's always worth going and, and looking in your local B&M home bargains, which I always get confused with B&M because they're quite similar stores and might do them, but I haven't been to my local home bargains for a while. So it was B&M where I, where I first found them and where I continued to find them. So B&M for the Skinny Whips, Aldi for the Wacko Bars, and then any major supermarket for the Fiber Ones. Uh, so that's it. I would, If I was going to rank them, I would say Skinny Whip number one by a considerable margin, then Wacko, and then uh, Fiber One. So. Again, it's completely up to you which ones you think, but I think if, you, if you're if unsure and you think five sins for like a treat at night is, is where you're kind of going to go, try the Skinny Whips first. A pound for that size and that substantial snack, you really can't go wrong. So uh, if you've tried any of these before, let me know in the comments, uh, see what you, you know, let me know what you think. If there's anything other, um, snack, any other snacks that you kind of want to see compared, then by all means, um, let me know. Or if you do want to see that Alpen Light versus Hi-Fi Salted Caramel, then again, just let me know in the comics. Com comments, not comics. So until next time, um, happy snacking. Is that a... Yeah. Until next time, happy snacking.